there's no better way to escape the pressures of the day than doing a little gardening. Wouldn't you say, Cornelius? Oh, indubitably, Baba. The garden is so quiet, so peaceful, so... King Baba! King Baba! So easy to get into. Remind me to have that gate fixed. Sire, I have the most thrilling news. A world-famous producer wants to give me my own radio show. What world-famous producer? You drove your Land Rover right through our rose bushes. You look upset. Don't. A little rose juice won't hurt this finish. Miss Frost, memo to me, Wash Rover. Murray's the name and Star Megan's my game. If we play our cards right, Pompadour could become the greatest talk show host since Yak Par. Oh my, how exciting for you, Pompadour. If you haven't gotten around to choosing guests, I should let you know I'm quite versatile. Thank you, Cornelius. I'll keep that in mind. I can do bird calls. And card tricks. And I'm also a seasoned mime. So, what do you say, Your Worship? Do we get the nod? Oh, please say yes, sire. I've always dreamed of becoming a celebrity. Please. All right, Pompadour. As long as you don't let this go to your head. Oh, thank you, sire. And to show my gratitude, I'm making you my very first guest on the show. Love it, love it, love it! We'll call the segment Real Rich and Royal. We could do the whole interview from inside the Crown Jewels vault. What do you say, gig? We don't have any Crown Jewels. Memo to me, rent jewels. Don't forget to tune in Thursday when the No Bull Station, Station C-O-W, launches its destined to be a hit talk show, Pompadour, up close and personal. And now for the news. A recent Rhino Land poll reveals Lord Retaxus's popularity at an all-time low. 10% of the polled public thinks he should sharpen his image, 20% thinks he should tone down his image, and 70% simply don't like the guy. You know the old saying, sir. No news is good news. Basil, how can you be so happy? Everybody hates me. I've got to do something, Basil. I've got to rekindle the public's trust in me. Even if I have to lie to do it. Help! Someone help me! Did you hear that? Someone's in trouble! Help me! Help! Someone help me! Holy hornwormers! That's Isabel! Babar's kid? We've got to save her! <gasps> Coming, Isabel! Better take off my shoes first. But, sir, there's no time for that. A one and a two. Dive, sir! Dive! I can't do it, Basil. I can't swim. You've got to save her. That's the way, Basil! You're almost there! <laughs> Don't worry, Isabel! I got you! <laughs> you did it, Basil! You saved her! Is she all right? I think so. Just a little shaken up, that's all. Can you tell Basil what happened, Isabel? <laughs> My dolly fell in the water! <laughs> My mommy wasn't with me, so I tried to get her out. And you fell in too? Uh-huh. We should never go near the water without our mommy or daddy with us, okay? Okay, Mr. Basil. Nice work, Basil. Just doing what any red-blooded rhino would do, sir. Any rhino but me. Basil, promise you won't say anything about me being what you know. Chicken, sir? Yeah. My image is bad enough right now. Cross my heart and hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye, sir. My dolly! I'll 
saber. She's all right. Redax has saved her. He's a hero. Isabel, <laughs> thank goodness you're all right. Thank you for saving my baby. Listen, uh, I can't take all the credit. I'm selfishly brave and modest, too. What a guy. Three cheers for Redaxis. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. This guy. Hooray for the Texas! We always knew you had it in you! Isn't this wonderful? But you know, I never thought Rotaxis had it in him. What do you mean by that? I always saw you as the more heroic type, Basil. Was there any hesitation on Rotaxis' part, or did he just dive right in? Uh, well, I sort of promised not to say anything about it. You know how modest Rataxis can be. No, I hate to brag, but I've won at least a dozen swimming competitions in my youth. And when I saw that kid, I just... Now, did I ever tell you... Now, what's gotten into him? Humpy baby, get ready to... Ooh! I've just inked this Rataxis guy to be our first guest. I thought I was going to be your first guest. With me as a possible first alternate. Ooh. Well, you see, sire, I mean he... I mean we... Sorry, that's showbiz, Babar. Come on, Pomps. Let's practice fawning all over Rataxis while we still have the chance. I certainly hope Pompadour knows what he's getting into. And now, young lady, it's time you got some sleep. It's been a hectic few days. I'll say... We owe a great deal to Rotaxis. And especially Mr. Basil. What do you mean, dear? Mr. Basil saved Dolly and me from that bad water. He's our hero. Good night, Father. Perhaps I should go talk to Basil about this. His input could be quite revealing. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Don't tell me. More fan mail for moi. I also have the latest popularity poll. Let's hear it. 50% of the polling public say they love you. 50% say they adore you. And another 50% say they worship the water you walk on. But Basil, that adds up to 150%. How can that be? Some of the people love you so much they voted twice. Yeah! If I'd known I'd get this kind of reaction, I'd have done something heroic a lot sooner. Uh, whatever you say, Your Highness. Hey, are you okay, Basil? You haven't been your irritably cheery self lately. Sorry, sir. Maybe I caught that jungle flu bug that's been going around. Basil? I'd just like you to know that I appreciate what you're doing. It takes a big rhino to stay in the background. A promise is a promise, sir. Besides, you know how these things are. By next week, this whole hero business will be old news. Retires! <gasps> you won't believe this! I've just been informed that Queen Celeste plans to erect a statue in your honor. A testament to your heroism that will stand for all time. A statue in my honor? <laughs> What an honor! Yahoo! <laughs> Maybe I should be getting some of the honor. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Good night, Victor. Sleep tight. 
Hey, Dad? Yes, son? I'm glad you're my father. Thank you. But why do you say that? Because you saved Isabel. Someday, I want to be just like you. Just when you think you're down and out, something like this comes along to make everything right again. My son is actually looking up to his old man. And for the first time in ages, the people of Rhino Land like me. They really like me. You know something? This is turning out to be the happiest day of my life. Aside from our wedding day, of course. Sweet dreams, your highness. Hello, Basil. King Mabar, what a pleasant surprise. Do come in. Aren't we in a chipper mood today? Yes, sorry, sire. What a difference a day makes. Lord Retaxis is off rehearsing his ad libs for today's show. But if it's life and death, I'll summon him for you. I'm not here to see Retaxis. I'm here to see you. Me? Whatever for? I think we both know. I know what really happened at the river. Isabel told me. I refuse to say anything on the grounds that it might incriminate Retaxis. Basil, I'm not asking for a signed confession. I'd just like to know why you're putting up with this. Doesn't it bother you to see Retaxis getting the credit for something you did? For a while it did, but not anymore. Making Retaxis feel good about himself is my job. It's what makes me feel good. I lost that feeling for a while, but found it again last night. See ya! That Basil is quite a guy. <gasps> Five minutes to air! Five minutes, Murray! Where's my mark? What's my name? Pumpy, baby, you've got to relax. Forget that the success of the show is riding on you giving a stellar performance and just have fun with it. Thanks. I needed that. <clears throat> and just what are you dressed for? I thought maybe you could use a good co-host. Every big star needs a second banana, you know. Not on this show, they don't. Are you saying what I think you're saying? How's this for a stirring statue pose? You're in good hands, Retaxis. Podular is the finest sculptor in Celesteville. Too bad he can't draw worth a hoot. So, what can I do for you, Babar? I should warn you, though, I don't do autographs. My loss. I just came back to say, break a leg, Retaxis. You mean that? More than you know. Well, that's mighty big of you, considering you were bumped out of the guest chair to make room for me. Uh-huh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go over the hair-raising account of my daring river rescue. It was a dark and stormy day when... Excuse me, Retaxis, but isn't that Basil over there? Yes, no, yes, no, yes. What's he doing? Yes, no. He's probably approving the questions they want to ask me. You can never be too careful. <laughs> isn't that just like him? Basil's always looking out for you. Of course he is. It's his job. I know. But nobody goes to the lengths that Basil does to make his boss look good. Dedication like that goes above and beyond the call of duty. I just hope you realize how lucky you are to have a guy like Basil standing by you. <laughs> Guys like Basil are one in a million. But you know that better than I, right? Right. Well, I'd better get back to my seat. I certainly wouldn't want to miss your interview. And welcome to Pompadour, up close and personal.
I'm your host, Pompadour, hoping that this will become the first in millions of fun-filled madcap broadcasts. Now, if I make it serious for a moment, I'd like to talk about heroism. To be a hero requires the triumph of the soul over one's fear, for a true hero feels and never reasons, and therefore will always remain pure in his heart and in his actions. I think we all know who I'm talking about. And so, without further fanfare, I'd like to bring out my first guest and Celestville's most cherished child saver, Lord Retexas. <laughs> Quite a stirring entrance for taxes. What do you say we dispense with the standard pap and get right to the good stuff? After all, we only have an hour. Fine. Whew. Wonderful. I'm sure that everyone here would like to know this. What was going through your mind as you flung your heroic body into those deadly waters? I don't want to talk about that. <gasps> <gasps> but your lordship... Surely you'd like to say something. Not really, no. Actually, there is something I'd like to talk about. Oh, good. I'd like to talk about loyalty and dedication and years of friendship. The kind of person that wouldn't think twice about risking his life to save a small child and wouldn't think twice about giving of himself to make someone else's day a little brighter. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a true hero. I'd like to talk to you about... Basil! Hey! What are you doing up here? I uh, just thought Bertaxis could use a little help recalling the facts. <laughs> I know what really happened, Basil, and I think everyone else should know, too. Oh, look! Time for a commercial already? <laughs> My, how time flies. Stay tuned, folks. Pompadour will be right back. What do you think you're doing? You're ruining my debut. Forgive us, Pompadour, but Retaxis isn't feeling well. Probably the aftershock of being tossed in those turbulent waters. Oh, knock it off, Basil. I'm fine. And I'll feel a lot better once I say what I have to say. It's time the truth came out. You all think I'm some big hero, but I'm not. Basil is the one who saved Isabel, not me. If anybody deserves to have a statue made in his honor, it's Basil. Not just because he's a hero, but because guys like him are one in a million. Please don't fault Basil for what he's done. Protecting my image is his job. That's what I hired him to do. But I want you to know, Basil, that over the years, you've become more than just my employee. You're my best friend. Thank you, sir. I mean, Retaxis. Good for you, Retaxis. <laughs> I'll bet that took more courage than diving into ten rivers. Okay, Pompadour. I'm ready to fess up in front of the whole world. Even though it'll kill any popularity I have left, I'm going to do it for my pal. And I appreciate it, Your Highness, but that won't be necessary. Oh, oh thank you, Basil. Oh, 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 thank you. You know, if I were you two, I'd go practice my poses for the statue. You mean you're still going to build a statue? Of me and him? Do you see any other heroes around? Just us. Basil, let's go. Wait! You can't leave! What about the show? Uh, well, that was the mating call of the belted kingfisher. And to all you kingfishers out there, I'm taken. <laughs> This gives me an idea for another show! Memo to me. I'll call it Real Remarkable Rhinos! Wait, Murray! Please! Wait, you can't leave! What about the show? Give me another chance! I'm too young to retire! Where's my agent? Murray!
Thank you.